In Storyline, triggers are the key to interactivity. Now, we like to say that in Storyline, nothing happens without a trigger. And looking at our slide, we can see that we have our buttons set up. We've got the slide layers created. We have some placeholder text on them. Really, the last step here is to add the triggers to the buttons to load the appropriate layers. So let's go ahead and select the first button, the, the customer service button. And over here in the triggers panel, click the first icon right here to create a new trigger. Now a trigger has three main elements. What happens, where does it happen, and when does it happen? So the first thing we want to have happen is we want to show a layer. So we want to show a new layer, customer service layer, when the user clicks the customer service button. And that's it. Let's walk through that again for the second button. Click Sales Technique to select it and go back to the Triggers panel and create a new trigger. Now Storyline is going to remember the last action you used, so the Show Layer is already set up for us. Now this time the layer we want to show is Sales Technique. When user clicks is correct and the object this time is the Sales Technique button. Click OK. So as you can see, it's really easy to add triggers to buttons. But we can work even faster by copying and pasting existing triggers to the remaining buttons. So here's how this works. So back over here in the Triggers panel, I'm going to copy, I'm going to select the uh, trigger I, I created for customer service, come up here and choose Copy the Selected Trigger, and I'm going to select the last three buttons. So I can either shift-click those or drag a selection around them. Now back in the Triggers panel, Let's go ahead and paste the copied trigger to the selected objects. And look at that. Quickly adds the trigger to each of the buttons. Now all we need to do is update the triggers by clicking the blue underlined link and assigning the correct layer. Market research. Self-promotion goes to self-promotion. And communications. And again, just another reason why naming your objects in the timeline really comes in handy and saves you time throughout your course development. All right, let's take a moment and preview our slide. So click through each button to verify that it loads the correct layer. Now we know the hovers and visited states should be working. And we can see that the layers are loading correctly. Again, this is another benefit to adding the, 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 the heading text to each of the placeholder layers because it lets us visually confirm whether or not our buttons are actually working and showing the correct layers. All right, everything looks great. The only thing left we have to do in this tutorial is to add the conditional button, the conditional next button that prevents the learners from moving forward until all five buttons on the slide have been clicked. And that's what we'll do in the next lesson.